Epic Beer Jaw. New company for you guys today. We'll be reviewing Epic Beards out of Ohio. I'll be joined by my amazing wife, the super sniffer, the supportive one, Sam C. Non-Bearded, and I am Dan C. Bearded. Welcome guys to the channel. This is my traditional style of a beard review where I break down every category that you could possibly want to know about. And if I don't cover it, leave a question down in the comments below. Grab some family members, grab some food, grab some drinks, sit back, relax, enjoy this time while you watch this review. Company. A little bit of information about the Epic Beards Company. Their website, I believe, is shopepicbeards.com. Of course, I'll have a link in the description for you guys, but I want to make sure we get that shopepicbeards.com because it's not just the normal epicbeards.com. Well, they were started by a guy by the name of Sean, as I said, out of Ohio, and he said he grew up with a bunch of brothers. I think it was something like seven boys in the family, and they all had hair everywhere. His dad had the mother of all beards, and he shaved off his beard, instantly regretted it, was regrowing it, and decided kind of at that time that he wanted to start a beard company. This is something that he's passionate about, he really enjoys. I love how much he is involved in the community, he gets in my live streams, comments on the videos, just seems like a genuinely supportive dude, so hopefully we can throw that support back at his company. So, check out their website, they got some more information on there, and I'll break down the carriers, all of that throughout this video. Price. I like to rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating. And I'm going to give Epic Beards the exact two dollar sign price rating. A one ounce bottle of beard oil is going to cost you $15. Now I do not believe at this time I have a discount code. I definitely do not have an affiliate with them. But if I do acquire one, within these days from filming, editing, to posting. I will put it in the description for you guys, so check that out there. But the epitome of the market average, small batch, passionate company, two dollar sign price rating. All right, we have brought in Samantha. Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Our boys say the name weird. There's a scene in Frozen 2 where he's talking about Samantha. They lose their mind yeah. every time. It's hilarious. How are you doing today? I'm good. Good. Filming coffee, filming pop. Filming Diet Coke. Yeah. This so. quarantine, I've been obsessed with McDonald's Diet Coke. Has a day gone? Maybe yesterday. Did you get one yesterday? We went to Chick-fil-A yesterday. Oh, so you still got a Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't think a day has gone by this quarantine that you have not gotten a... McDonald's or Chick-fil-A Diet Coke. That's <laughs> wild. So yeah, she likes it. It's only a dollar, so yeah. whatever. Well, today, Samantha, we are reviewing a company that is called Epic Beards. Okay. Epic Beards. So they are out of Ohio. Oh. Ohio. So trying to be positive today. Got my Positivity Project shirt on. <laughs> it's a group we work with at school and teach you positivity. So Ohio may not be our favorite state. It's a rival of ours. The police are like brutal there. <laughs> it smells funny. But slow speed. Oh god, 65 miles per hour. Come on, Ohio. <laughs> but we're gonna be positive here. Tell the people something you like about Ohio. The Cincinnati Zoo. Ooh, good answer, good mm -hmm. answer. I like the whole strip by Kalahari, Great Wolf Lodge, Cedar Point, that whole area. Okay. So that one's good too, but Cincinnati Zoo is awesome. Mm -hmm. We do mm -hmm. want to go to the Columbus Zoo. Yes. So if you guys have been to the Columbus Zoo, let us know. Oh, have Toledo met... Zoo. What are we talking about? We love oh, Toledo yeah. Zoo. Duh. It's one of our favorite places. That's basically Michigan. Yeah. Now. So, awesome. Leave okay. us a comment of any other stuff you like about Ohio. We don't have and it here. Yeah. tell us if you met Jack Hanna. Oh, Columbus, Columbus yeah. <laughs> so they have another scent that they gave me a while ago before the review, and it's called uh, that that state up north or the state north, something like that, and it's a cherry <laughs> tobacco. Okay. Right, going with Michigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I gave it to my buddy Tim because I don't like cherry tobacco, and so they have a cherry tobacco, I believe. I think it was being worked on. Uh, but first thing, I showed you these combs when yeah. they came in, uh, but Epic Beards teamed up with Chicago Combs, and they've done these carbon fiber combs. What are your first thoughts and impressions with the like, carbon fiber? 
air. That's it's the like thing. You're holding nothing. When I thought carbon fiber, I thought it was like a metal cone, that it was going to be some yeah. heavy duty. It's not, but it's strong at the same time. I want to try to break it. No, 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 no. I and not There are people, strong. yeah, yeah. Yeah, my buddy Johnny does videos of breaking combs, so I don't know. I don't know if you'd break this one, but I like them. I like them. They're pretty cool. So that's a random one here. You got this where you're like getting ready in the morning. Sound fancy. <laughs> but let's get to the sense here. First off, the labels. Logos. Whoa. Watch your hand. That almost hit you. Yeah. <laughs> My hands are crazy. What do you think about the, the labels, the logo, what, I like whatever it. Are we got these going matching? on? Here? Yeah, so they match the, the oh, scent okay, okay. with the, the balm yeah, and like the oil. That. You like it? Yeah. Yep, cool logo. And each one has something a little bit different for the beard. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. All right, the first one we have up is Irish coffee. Irish coffee. Ooh. So this is mint, vanilla, and coffee. Oh my god. Mint, vanilla, and coffee. So the first time I had Irish coffee was on our first cruise. Do you remember that? Is it Irish coffee is with alcohol? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I do remember so that. Oh, so good. Was that the one we got the alcohol pass? Or is or is that the next cruise? Next one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Don't get the alcohol pass. You feel pressure to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. You're like, if you're like me, I calculate I need 13 drinks today to meet my <laughs> minimum. And so I made sure I had my value. Not because I wanted to, but because I need to. What are, what are your thoughts? It's minty. It's sweet. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Yep. It's definitely on the sweeter side, but mm -hmm. you get that real coffee coming through yeah. too. You get that brown coffee that's, or black coffee. It's, but coffee's actually brown looking, yeah. so give me a break, people. Calm down. So, yes, <laughs> that's really nice. If you like that type of coffee mm -hmm. scent, that's going to be for you 100%. So next one up we have is three stripes. Three stripes here. Okay. And this is a, oh, yes, okay. <laughs> this is peppermint and, oh, no, wait, no, sorry, the wrong one, wrong one. Yes, go with that one, go with that one. Okay, three stripes. Okay. I was going to say, no, it's not. Uh, I saved that one for last. Three stripes is classic barbershop. Classic mm. barbershop. It is. Talc powder. Yep. You get that shaving cream. It straight up classic barbershop. I like it. There's no real twist to it. If you're looking for that talcum powder, boom. Mm -hmm. Just a straight up talcum powder barbershop. No yeah. bay rum, no... Nothing else in there. Pretty simple on that one. All right, next up we have is bourbon. Bourbon. Now, this is a bourbon and sandalwood. Bourbon and sandalwood. And depending on the scent, some of them last longer than others. The Irish coffee lasts all day, all day. The barbershop also lasts all day. The bourbon is one of the softer scents that they have. I actually really like this. It's not, yeah. it doesn't have that stinging alcohol yep. sort of smell. I agree. It's just like, Manly. Like it, it's a, just a good man smell. Manly. That's exactly how I would describe this one. It's not like cologne -y. It's not... And it's soft. It's subtle. Yeah. I think the balm brings it out a little bit more. So smell the balm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can smell the alcohol. Yeah, the oil, and I don't know if it's the one I have or what, but the oil is much softer, mm -hmm. and I prefer wearing oil only, but I test out the balm, of course. Uh, the balm has a little bit more of a punch mm -hmm. to it than the, the oil there, so good one to know. All right, next one up is, I have a tester version. I, I think this say, is, is one yeah, I think it's brand new. It's just coming out, and this is the Southern Orchid. Southern Ooh. Orchid. And this is vanilla and tobacco. Now, an orchid is a flower, Oh, right? yeah, I thought it was going to be a floral. Flower. Yeah. That's deceiving. I know. I thought this in the light green color, you're like, oh, yeah. It's very spicy. Yeah. What was it? Vanilla tobacco? Yeah. There's there's like definitely a, a spice tobacco. in there. I don't really get vanilla at all. Smell the balm. It, it really, their balms are a nice hit of the, the, the scent, a hit of oh, the yeah. flavor that's in there. It's very spicy. Yeah, super spicy. Not my favorite. Again, man, that by far my least favorite. <laughs> by far. I, I don't like that one. So the small size, that works. I don't know if he like knew. He was like, Dan he's doesn't like, like, this like this one. All right, the next one is Miracle. Miracle this here. First. Oh, all right, well, all right, let's do this. All right, all right. <laughs> and this is peppermint and grapefruit. Yeah. Pepper For a second, I thought you were going to say gravy. Peppermint and grapefruit. Okay, let me smell the oil. Trade. Peppermint grapefruit. This peppermint, is by 100%. far my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice mintiness. There's not a ton of grapefruit in there. Yeah, but you can still smell the citrus a little There's bit. There's something not, different. Not sweet. It's not like overly sweet. Right. 
I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I wore that one first. I wear that one second. Usually I like to wear like an unscented or something lighter, but I was really digging that one. So I wore that one back to back days. So what is your favorite? I'm going to go with that bourbon one. Over the, I, over yeah. the uh, coffee? Yeah, because I'm trying to think like a man. Okay. Like what would I want to wear every day? Yeah, probably yeah, yeah. not the coffee scent. I like that Agreed. smell for like a candle or something like yeah. that. Probably not all over my face, beard. Agree. A lot of guys are really going to like that bourbon yeah. one. Uh, my one thing with these is it's almost like the names are a little deceiving and or, or the description because they have names, right? And this one is, I believe this one is titled bourbon, but oh no, no, this one is titled 1792. So I would okay. almost rather have that. Then on the description here, bourbon and sandalwood. Uh, the same thing with like the Southern Orchid, you know? Um, yeah, vanilla, that one tobacco. is very deceiving. Yeah, so <laughs> I would say, and then like the peppermint and uh, grapefruit. grapefruit is miracle. Uh, I love that it's the peppermint and it shows you kind of with the, yeah. the stripes on there that kind of gives it away there. So overall thoughts on them for the, the scent like, blends? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, agreed. Was, yeah, don't like the Orchid one. Love two other ones are... Cool beans. Yeah, and they're pretty <laughs> They're pretty straightforward. There's nothing that's crazy complex in here. And so you can have some kind of safety when you're buying stuff. Mm -hmm. When we tell you that it's a nice manly one, you're going to know exactly what we're talking about, yeah. the coffee. So that's a good thing because oftentimes people are like, hey, man, what's this? I'm like, we try. I mean, we give our best explanation. Mm -hmm. These ones, I, I feel pretty confident that you guys have a full understanding of what they are. Yeah. So awesome. All right. Well, thank you, beautiful. You're welcome. Go enjoy the rest of your Diet Coke. <laughs> Feel in beard, extremely important. How do these products make my beard feel? How does my beard style? What do the ingredients look like? All of that extreme important information here. Well, first off, the oil is on the medium light side. Let me read you the carriers real quick here. We have grapeseed, coconut, argan, jojoba, and vitamin E, as well as their fragrance in rosemary leaf extract. It's really nice. It leaves my beard feeling free, breathable, right? A little beard shake test for you guys, beard shake. And I really, really enjoy their oil blend. If I had to pick a target for me as viscosity for an oil, I love medium light, spot on there. Their balm is on the lighter side, All right? Show you guys here. It is on that lighter side, especially once you get in there and break it down. It is more nourishing than I would say holding. And so for me, I prefer that. I'm not a big firm balm guy unless I have a big work meeting. And let's face it, none of us do right now. But uh, I don't really use those firm balms. So I don't like balms to begin with. But when I have to test them out, I will give them a few runs just to see what it's like. And this one was one of my more enjoyable sides on the balm, even though I personally would not choose to wear this after testing. And then boom, I believe at the time of this video dropping, when I checked the website, it said April 1st. So I don't know if this is an April Fool's joke or not, but they are dropping their beard butter. Now I have been testing this, the sample and been working, uh, helping them out. And this is my favorite product from Epic Beards. I really like the oil. The balm is solid, but the butter is a beautiful, nourishing nighttime butter. Let me show this to you guys here. All right, really, really creamy. There's that little bit of body, or I would like to say kind of micro grit, but it's gonna do a wonderful job of nourishing your beard at nighttime. I don't get any hold out of this, and for me, that's okay. I don't want any hold out of my butter, but man, oh man, does it do a great job. Let me hit you with the ingredients real quick on the butter, uh, which I think are wonderful. Shea butter, the best butter there is, period. Ba um, babasu oil, yellow beeswax, grapeseed oil, citral alcohol. Again, I've addressed that in several videos. Citral alcohol is a wonderful ingredient for nourishing and conditioning the hair. Uh, fragrance, vitamin E, and then that rosemary leaf extract crushed it on the butter. If it is out, guys, give that one a look, especially see what you think on their beard butter. Rebuy. Would I look to acquire any of these products again? Try out anything new from this company and most importantly, recommend them to you, my valuable, my trusted subscribers. Yes, this is an American made, small batch, passionate company that's using quality ingredients. You can never go wrong there. Now with the sense, is there one that has blown me away and just rocked my life and I'm just telling you, you gotta get this one? Not exactly. There are some I really like. There are some that Sam really likes. 
but I'm hoping that in the future they're gonna come out with that boom, that gangbuster that's just gonna rock the world. For me, you guys know I love peppermint. So peppermint grapefruit, that's an easy sell. Sam loves that coffee, that's an easy sell. The good news is, if you guys like those ranges of scents, it's gonna be for you. There's no question, there's no doubt, there's no risk. If you like the sound of that Irish whiskey, boom, you're all set. If you like peppermint with a little bit of citrus twist, or that sounds like something interesting, boom. We described that bourbon one, that one's really good. Some of the other ones, you're like, dude, I like spicy. I know Dan doesn't, but I love it, right? Then it's for you. So that is huge, and I know these guys are really working, constantly grinding, and I'm looking for that, that one hitter quitter, that amazing scent that's gonna change the game. Because they have the carrier blend, because they have the products to do it, I'm pumped. And again, a very supportive company. They're gonna be really engaging and have great customer service for you guys. Give them a look, see what you think. So question for you guys. I talked about the states there, right? Ohio, I talked about Michigan. I wanna know two things. Please leave this comment down below. Uh, First off, let me know anything that you have about this company. Have you tried them? Do you have any questions? Is there anything that stands out to you? That is really important. I love when you answer my questions, but giving that feedback on the company and the review means a lot to the company, but also me. And then the second thing, give me a state that you do not live in and something that you really like about it. Okay, we live in Michigan and we talked about what we liked about Ohio. I want the same from you. Say, I live in Florida, but I really enjoy going to visit Mo in Georgia or whatever it may be. Let me know that question, guys. I think we'll have some interesting answers out there. So thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying your family time, your work time if you're essential and all of this, guys. Now, more so than ever, stay bearded, please, and stay positive.